All right. Father God, we come to you with expectation and enthusiasm and intention and with excitement, knowing that you want us to enter in. You want deeper, more holy lives for us. You want us to access new realms that we have inside us. You want us to learn your mysteries, Lord. What an honor and a pleasure. So Father, by faith, we all come together. We join in one accord, each of us sons of daughters, sons and daughters in you. And by faith, we step in on the count of three. One, two, three. Thank you, Avril. Like we're surrounded by warmth or by a, a warm membrane or blanket or something, some light. Yeah, I could feel it. I felt it as his presence. But you guys also felt warmth. Is that what you're saying? Like a. Yeah, warmth or a blanket or a membrane or something. Okay. I see it as like a waterfall, but it's not a waterfall like, like we have seen before. So yeah, it has warmth with it, but it's kind of like blue tones, like a like a blue covering, but more like a, a falls, okay. <clears throat> waterfalls. Thank you. Very refreshing though. I'm excited. I can feel. I get to sense it, sense it tonight, and I feel the presence is a, a quiet, joyful peace. Exactly what I just heard. He said, "This is the place of peace." Wow. Mm -hmm. And it's I like I'm. Go ahead, Peter. It's like I'm standing next to Jesus in an open field, brightly lit field. Thank you. I, you know, I, I heard when you mentioned this is the place of peace. Um, I, I heard the word and comfort. It's like, it's like somebody added that. I'm seeing other people there, and then I heard you came through the waterfall, but they did not. Not everyone came through the same direction that I came in, but it's into the same place. That's really cool. <laughs> yeah, that, that is interesting. So, so you heard that you came through the waterfall? Yes, because I was wondering why I was seeing the waterfall, and I guess he heard my thoughts, you know, of course. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And so he was explaining that, yes, I did go through the waterfall. So I went through like several layers of whatever it was to the entryway. Right. It wasn't hard, it's just that's the way I went. Yeah. The way he took me. <laughs> through the water. I love it. Love it. You know, uh, 
also, and you know, I, I, I take notes, right? And so um, as I was writing Peace and Comfort, I, I felt like the Lord said, they are, you know, beings that are here with us now. So I, I would like to um, welcome peace and comfort to, to our meeting tonight and just say thank you for coming. And also, um, you know, Jesus, we're, we're so glad you're here with us. Yes, and I also heard rest, if that settles with you too. Yes, I heard rest. After Jill said comfort, I heard rest. So is, is that another heavenly being also, rest? I don't know. I just heard the word. After okay. peace, you said comfort, and I heard rest. Okay. And I did hear it two or three times, so, but it just came back to me, so. I'm also feeling um, diamonds, and I, I, I think that might be related to the waterfall, like the droplets of water are like diamonds. I don't know if they look like diamonds or they are diamonds. I'm not sure. I loved going through the waterfall, by the way. Does anyone feel like we should go stand under the waterfall? Well, I can say that it certainly would not hurt. Yes. <laughs> mm, that sounds wonderful to me. <laughs> it was so refreshing. I'm still feeling the tingling. The water is still hanging on me. Uh, but I don't, I don't want to say it's wet, but I still feel the water on me and it's, it's, it's actually like singing on me. So the droplets are still there. The, the feeling of it is rising. So Maybe, Linda, maybe you could lead us into that and, and also, you know, for the people that may be a little new to this, if you could kind of describe what you're seeing to, sort of, to help them. Okay, so I was sensing when we prayed our, you know, we were prayed in that I was just feeling what I was feeling and seeing what I was seeing. I was listening to others and I really felt this like a almost like a curtain but it was a curtain of water coming down it wasn't hard or rushing it just was soft and gentle and just kind of hung out there for a couple of minutes and then I walked in and I could see everyone else so we thank you father that you have brought us to the waterfall to this refreshing time this restoring all the things that you have for us in it we thank you for the life in it we thank you for the even the diamonds that you have on it, because I see them sparkling on me because the water was still on me while I was in the open field and I could see other people there. So we thank and praise you, God, for this time that you have divinely set aside for us. Thank you, Linda. Yes. Yeah, you know, I can almost see the how this water is uh, repairing our, you know, our physical bodies. It? Even, even, you know, like it soaks through and somehow restores our soul. I even see and heard it say DNA. So it's something about the DNA and I'm seeing letters or some kind of words or something on the water that's on me. So it's kind of like a sheet of clothing on with raindrops or something like that. But the shape in the shape, 
I see words. I don't know if I'm seeing letters of like the living letters or what those are, but we thank you for these, Lord, and thank you that they are changing us. Well, you know, I'm glad you said that, Linda, because when you when you first said something about the uh, the waterfall in the beginning, I, I heard the, I heard mem. So um, I would just like to all, also welcome the living letter mem. And bam is the first letter in Mayim, which means water. Thank you. Yes. Amen. Amen. Is anyone else hearing it's a there is something that's happening is a sign and a wonder? Those are very clear words that I just heard. I just heard the water of life that's giving life, new life, because our body's made up of so much water and it's just bringing a new dimension of water into us. Amen. And I personally receive this living water, this water that <clears throat> is upon us and lingering and going inside of us and also still lingering on the outside. We thank you for this, Lord. I was hearing the lyrics of a song by Need to Breathe and the chorus goes, even when the rain falls, even when the flood starts rising, even when the storm comes, I am washed by the water. I was hearing washed by the water, washed by the water. Wow, wow. Washed by the living water. And now so, I am, I'm drinking it for sure. <laughs> I am <clears throat> wondering at first what I was seeing in him. And then I just was about to ask. And then instead of singing, because they were singing a song, the angels turned and there were angels that were ministering to my physical body and like speaking over my body. Say that, say it again, please. Say that again. Yeah. I, oh, okay. Can you hear me now? I can. Yes. Oh, okay. Good. Uh, I was seeing angels ministering over me as they were singing and I never could pick up the song. And thank you, Avril. What you said was probably what they were singing. 
And then I felt to ask, well, what is this I'm really seeing? Because sometimes you're just enjoying and, and walking into it and listening and receiving. But then I saw the angels who were like a form of an angel and they were like white, you know, almost kind of transparent. And they were looking at me like, this is what I'm doing. And I was rubbing my neck, but that's where they were rubbing my neck and my neck no longer is sore and tense. I noticed that on my walk today, it was sore and tense and I didn't know why. So like ministering angels. Wow. <laughs> I had a sense that they are preparing us to um, move into a new atmosphere. You know, that they're preparing us for something that's, um, I don't know if it's, it's lacking water or it's, it's got, you know, I don't know what kind of atmosphere it is, but we're in preparation. You know, I sense that same thing. It's like whatever's to come that we're going to step into mm -hmm. this is what we were supposed to do is to take this time to be ministered to, to let this water be in us, with us and speak to us and these angels speaking to us. <clears throat> and it's, it, it is preparation time. I just didn't have that word. So thank you very much, hon. This is, I mean, this realm that we're in really is, um, it's, it's a wonderful place. I mean, just the, uh, the atmosphere, you know, I can really feel all that that's going on. Yes, it is. And it's like very soothing. Um, it's like spa-like. Uh, not that I've been to that many spas, but I've been like once. But anyway, it has that type of a feel to it with luxuriated, uh, ministered, loved. Um, it's just real, really special. Yeah. So you guys really, really receive, just, just receive it. Luxuriate. Luxuriate. Is that a word? It is now. I'll just say what I'm seeing too. And when we said that, you know, I laid back and, and then one of the angels gave me a glass of, you know, thing that's got the stem and then the glass of wine. And so now they're wanting me to partake of this wine. <laughs> really cool. Can we all have some? Of course. Of course, I'm sure. <laughs> Glasses all around, please. I sense that we are being um, led into a new experience of wholeness. It's not healing, but it's wholeness. 
Yeah, that really resonates, Barbara. Yes, that really feels mm -hmm. right. Yeah, wholeness. Yeah, me too, because when I took the drink, mine was more like champagne. And then it was, I, I said, look, God, is it white wine? He said, no, it's bubbly and sparkly. And then I, and I thought, oh, it's like <laughs> diamonds. So I started drinking that. And then I felt a sense in my whole body, like a tingling, like an effervescent through my whole body. So I said, oh, Lord, is this going to go and heal my back? And I, and I heard, no, it's not that kind of healing. And that's then Barbara said, it's, it's a different kind of healing. It's a wholeness. So it's, it's not a physical healing that I'm getting. I, I, it, was like, it was like God saying, no, it's not a physical healing. It's some other kind of wholeness or spiritual healing or mental or emotional or something else. Or maybe it's just affecting my DNA or something. But I definitely felt like effervescent inside my body. My drink is multicolor. At first, it started out to be a deep purple, you know, and the glass is a different color. I can't really tell what it is because the dark color in there, but it's not a clear glass. It's clear, but it's not clear like you see a glass. It's got a color to it. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, and also it's got like three or four or five, six colors. I can't tell how many colors because there's a top, middle, bottom. So there's multi colors to it. It almost reminds me of the seven spirits of God. And yes, they're bubbling, they're moving in there and swirling around and around. And I believe there's a meaning for each of those colors that I'm about to drink and a reason. And I have sunken into, just kind of stepped into luxuriously into this box that I don't know. I haven't been to that type of spa, but it's a box type of a thing. And it's uh, yellow or gold color and it's moving around. And that's what I'm fixing to step into. I've stepped into it. It's up to my neck and I'm just sitting there with my wine glass. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you said that Linda I um, I started to see something shift like I, I I was seeing like this golden yellow color and I really didn't I didn't know if, I didn't know what it represented so um, it may be just that I keep inviting my family members to join us in the waterfall or drinking the wine mine too yeah <laughs> All are welcome. Peter, just give me a grid for that when you say you invite your family members. Um, you're just inviting them in the spirit to join you? Yes. And, you and I see them. I see them there with us in the waterfall. Their spirits are there. You know, and you... Here's some Okay, oh, wine, even, even, even for a little bit of wine in a dog bowl for brandy. I mean, why not? Why not? That's right. Why not? She needs wholeness. <laughs> Amen. She's got it. Um, Avril, the people that you hold in your heart, you can take them, you know, they're in your heart. So right. take them in with you. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Today, I just heard about the Greek word of oikos which is for a household and that includes the whole family and all of our sphere of influence as well cool and that's cool. when it says salvation has come to your household okay that means we get all of that with us thank you for that barbara that's uh i, I yeah that's new i mean household i thought you know but it's the sphere of influence as well. Uh, 
Okay, as we do that, then I heard these words. This is the chorus of heaven because I was wondering why the he heavens were opening up. And when I have seen this in the past, it meant this, and I believe it means that tonight, is that that's the Father. The Father, you know, Jesus, Holy Spirit, are opening up heaven, making their entryway. So that's the the song that you heard or the singing? Uh, that's just what I was, I was, I was talking. I talk and they talk back to me in my spirit, but you know, it's kind of that quiet voice. So I didn't even, I was talking to them and I, <laughs> and <laughs> the chorus of heaven. And it's pretty, my, my vision sometimes is pretty strong in here. <laughs> and then it was opening up and it was just a streaming, beautiful white light that had such strength in it and such, uh, honoring and glory to it yes it, it's just it's got like a heavy presence but not yes, it does yeah <laughs> and it's just brightly opening up to us like a flower would downward to what towards us whoa does it got streams of gold in it yeah like a petal inside the petal there that whatever that causes that the bees to go to it's kind of got that in there with little droplets but they're not dropping it's just showing all these facets of this opening Wow. I sense that we're being invited to experience a new realm of glory. That heaven's inviting us into the glory realm that we've never been in before. That's exciting. That's, isn't that's it? <laughs> yes, it's so good. And right as she was saying that, the picture is still moving forward as I'm seeing it. And father has come from that area, you know, kind of like a lot of times he might be like hidden or behind a cloud or whatever. And he's come forward and he's like coming beside us to lift us forward, to move forward into, I believe what you were saying. Um, I don't have my glasses on <laughs> to you that just spoke Barbara, Barbara. <laughs> Transported into my marvelous light. What scripture is this? A scripture, or is that just something yeah, he's yeah. teleporting me to? No, no. Know. Well, I, I think there is Peter. Peter's really. Mm -hmm. I'll look it up. I think it's Colossians. We've been translated into the kingdom of His light. I'll look it up. Thank you, Peter. Peter is an ace Bible and Hebrew student. He's. Yes. Yeah. We appreciate Thanks, but, you. We appreciate you, Peter. Thanks. Then, then I missed what, what Linda's saying. So Linda, what is that about a flower? I missed that because I was typing stuff. So please repeat that, Linda, about the flower. Okay. This opening of heaven came and then this beautiful feeling of uh, the whiteness and the glory came down and is, is, <laughs> just saying it makes me feel it more. 
Yeah. Uh, and so it has this feeling, this entrancing, this glory. And then, and then a few moments later is when Jesus or God stepped out. It's, it's God that stepped out. Yeah. And he's going Thanks, to guys. each individual. Mm -hmm. I encourage you to take note of what you're wearing. I am robed in a beautiful white dress that is sparkling like diamonds. I feel it clothed me when I went to the waterfall. Even Linda was saying it was on her skin, the water was on the skin. Now I'm like clothed in this white as white so white but it's reflecting like a diamond yeah i can see it mm -hmm. mine is like effervescent i don't know if that's a word but it's it's white around the edges but it's clear but yet it's a cover at the same time and it feels fantastic the water droplets are in it on me and within that fabric and the light is shining through and i believe those are the diamonds I saw myself wearing like a, a plain, thick linen type fabric, like a, an off-white color. But that, that Bible verse is Colossians chapter 1, verse 13. One, three, it's in the chat. Okay. He has rescued us from the kingdom of darkness and transferred us or translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. Colossians 1, 13. Yes, translated, because at the first I was thinking... We're going to be trans telecommuted or whatever the words are. And that's what I believe he's doing. <laughs> I feel like it's a wedding gown. You do. Oh. You know, um, when you said take note of what you're wearing, I immediately saw um, a, a red fabric and um, almost like a, a satin, almost like that. Um, and it was alive, it, it looked alive. So when you said you were describing your, you know, the white colors, um, I, I was surprised. I, um, I just wondered, are there other colors that other people see, you know, as, as their clothing? I'm, I'm just well, curious. When, when you were drinking the wine, what color was the wine? Uh, it was red. Okay. So I think I think it's related to that because I was I was my dress is the color of what I was drinking and it sounds like Linda's was is as well. Yeah. I may be wrong, but but if anybody else got the I same just know that, drinking, I just know that red is a color that many are married in in India. You know that they don't uh, wear white for weddings; they wear white for funerals. So we might be having wedding dresses from different cultures. The color of mine are the droplets that I was speaking of. It's kind of hard to say a size, like put your finger and thumb together in kind of like an oval shape. They're about that size, but they're all the colors of the seven spirits of God. So they're speaking. I don't know what they're saying. It's kind of a whisper or a song or something that is in my dress. Wow. Okay. I see my fabric is like an opal. Uh, you know how it has all the shimmering colors and like a lame. It's a drape. It drapes. 
but it's a heavy drapery uh, and it just shimmers in the light and all the different colors keep changing. Yeah, when you describe it, I, I can see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anybody else, would, would anybody else like to share what, they, what they're seeing? Well, <clears throat> when I drank the wine, uh, for me, it changed flavors. Like it was like different fruit flavors, uh -huh. like peach and different ones kind of. And, um, and I feel like my dress is like kind of that kind of almost like a gradient of like reds and oranges kind of mixed together. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you, Angela. Yeah. It's a spectacular place, this. It's just so full of purity and light and sparkle and bedazzle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you were talking about the uh, heavens open, opening like a flower, and then you talked about our dresses or our garments, it's like the, to me, it spoke to me like the blossoming of maturity that enters into the innocence of adulthood. Does that make sense? I mean, when. Yeah, that resonates with me, yeah. Yeah, that innocence before we've um, gotten ourselves in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just blossoming and such a, a rosy, uh, inviting, you know, attractive. It makes sense. sense. I saw myself as like um, much younger, uh, but not a child, but like, right. like yeah. borderline between child and woman. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm dancing now. I'm waltzing around the place. I'm going in circles. I'm dancing in a circle. Where do you see yourself dancing, Avril? Um, it's like a big... don't know it's like I can't describe it it's got I'm not in a room there's no walls right but I'm on a floor and the floor is maybe it's white it's maybe marbly or something like that and other people are dancing around me it still feels like a wedding it feels like a big a big um, celebration. Like a celebration, like a coming of age or a coming of a new level or something like that. Okay. I can agree with that because my dress was like a, um, a darkish, almost like a, a deep red, like wine. Um, yeah. You know, deep red is like a deep red, purplish, like wine, almost like a blood red, if it makes any sense. Burgundy. Uh, yeah, kind of, kind of in an essence of that. But it also is wrapped in light. So as we begin to go into the other room, I was spinning around dancing and you could see the light with the gown with me. And I knew exactly where Avery was talking about. It was sometimes when I do this, I spin with the Lord dancing, but it was almost as if we were spinning as ballerinas, like waiting on him to come onto the dance floor is what I was seeing as myself because I was dancing and spinning and dancing and spinning and I can see others and it doesn't have no walls and it really the floor is a white light floor but it's not an area that I'm used to and I can see the others around me dancing as well so it is some type of celebration 
Okay. Thank you. I'm hearing music that has sounds I've never heard before. Is anybody else hearing that? I'm hearing personal things from the Lord as he's still holding me. From when he came from the cloud above us. And he's saying, I will never leave you. And he has said it at least six, eight, ten times. And he's showing me memories that that's healing of me. And so he has kind of alongside what he's doing, he's been healing my soul of areas and issues that I have struggled with. Thank you, Lord. Oh, I do wish that I could paint, to paint the picture that I'm seeing. After he's spoken to me quietly, to me, he said, let's go to the dance floor. He took my hand, we walked to the dance floor. And then we started spinning together. And the, I don't know, ribbons of stars or just different things are floating from me as he's spinning, holding me. We're just going up, cascading upward in a spiral. And it's just really beautiful. It's a beautiful feeling. Thank you, Lord. It, uh, it's interesting that you said you wish you could paint it because I saw um, someone start painting um, things in the sky. And then you said, I wish I could paint this. So... And also, um, I just wanted to say that, you know, I really feel that um, we're all being intertwined with Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And um, so just, you know, just really receive it and... And just let it happen, you know. Yes, we welcome their, the embrace. We welcome the time together. We welcome it for eternity. Thank you, Father.
I feel like my feet are still twirling on the floor, but my soul and my spirit are floating in, in the atmosphere above. And it's just like, wow. <laughs> He's part of me is dancing with the different parts of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. I love that. And as I'm up there, just having this marvelous dance, this, this love that the Father has for me, I'm just kind of cocooned in it. Then he shows me that he is inviting everyone, and he's showing me he goes to everyone. And he's still with me, but he's there to, to everyone, to bring them into him. And that's what it, I believe it is, is bringing it, me into him, and that that's what he wants to do for all of us. I sense the same thing, Linda. I sense that he's dancing with all of us at the same time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But each one is so personal. Personal. Mm -hmm. And I can't hear what he's saying, but he's whispering lovely things to me. He's whispering yeah. love letters to me. Yes. We embrace you, Lord. We thank you. We glorify you. And I'm very aware of you, Peter. I don't usually see others in the spirit, but I'm very aware of you and your suit. And your suit is immaculate. It's like the most beautiful suit I've ever seen. Wow. Describe it, please. It's, it fits you so well. It's tailored just for you. And it's, it's definitely linen, and linen is my favorite fabric. So it's linen, but it's such fine linen that it's actually got a shine on like silk. It's made from like the purest, purest, purest linen. And I see it in like a, I think you described it as a, like a beigey color. Is that right? Or maybe. Yes. Um, Off-white cream. Whatever yeah, like you call it. Yes. Cream, yes. But it is, it is just the most spectacular suit. And I just feel it's made, it's been so tailored exactly to fit you perfectly. Mm. Thank you. I see someone in a in a beautiful green fabric. I, I'm I'm not sure who it is. But if, if anybody would like help, you know, in seeing what what they have on, I think I think it definitely is personalized, and it there's a um, it's it's symbolic of what the Lord wants to uh, impart to you tonight. So if anybody needs help, just ask. We can see for you. I fell asleep. I'm back. Sorry. I don't, I don't, uh, you can uh, help me see what I'm wearing or what y'all catch me up on what I fell asleep in. Oh, that's so, I mean, that's good. I'm, I'm so glad you're at a place of, of uh, rest and comfort. Yes. But um, at this moment, we are at some type of a celebration uh, with Father, Son, Holy Spirit. We're all wearing robes or suits or things like that, um, some in different colors, and so, some are dancing. 
So let's look let let's look at at, at Norman's suit. And you guys um, let us know which let me know what you uh, what you see. Well, uh, I just saw it. I, I see I see you in a in a in a white suit, Norman. Um, and the the lapels of the jacket are um, a different fabric that has a sheen to it. Uh, and it, it is, you know, certainly tailored perfectly for you. I, I see, you know, that you have on also a vest. So, you know, it's three piece. Anybody else? Yes, I sense that Norman's suit works like armor to protect him. Wow. It's kind of funny because me and Bucky did a little kind of a private ascension a few days ago. I sat down, like sitting on Jesus, and as I did, I disappeared in him, and I stood back up, and I was carrying him with me, like a suit. Oh, or yeah, okay. Yes, we put on Christ. Yeah, that's good, Peter, yeah. So just just enjoy this this realm. You know, it's a celebration, and yet at the same time, we are entangling and being intertwined even deeper with Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And there's uh, peace, comfort, and rest. Just, just receive it. I think you did, and that's why you, you drifted off to, to sleep. I love it. I could, if y'all would talk all night, I'd sleep all night. <laughs> when, Peter I mean, said that, when Peter said that your suit was working like armor, the word came to me, it's a garment of righteousness. And when you said that you came up from your ascension in Christ, I thought that's the righteousness of Christ upon you. Wow. A perfect fit. A perfect fit. Yeah, if I could get my emotions to line up with my spirit, that'd be great. <laughs> it's a process. Can anybody see what's going on in the sky? The father, I, I felt like the father just um, prompted me to look again. Earlier, earlier they mentioned there's other people there too. So I saw some of the Chinese believers come in. I encourage them, their help is coming soon for their country and our country. The sky looks kind of pink to me, like waves of pink going through the sky. What I saw was, well, I heard the word rainbow and I looked, you know, the usual arch of the rainbow and it wasn't that at all. It was like the whole sky was filled with colors of the rainbow. 
but they weren't in that striped archway. They were just filled all over the whole sky. Cool. Can you imagine? Beautiful. Mm. <laughs> I think that uh, the colors in the sky represent the promises that God is leading us. You know, he's fulfilling promises to us, inviting us to enter into them. Yeah. We're covered in the promises. We're covered in his covenant. You know, the sky above <laughs> being the cover. Go ahead, Avril. <laughs> I just wanted to ask, what does orange represent? I'm seeing orange. What is orange? Maybe if you know, I've got it written somewhere, but I don't know where. Let me look again. Wisdom. Wisdom. Hallelujah. Yeah. I had a brain fart. Yeah, wisdom. See, Avril, no. Aren't you glad you asked? <laughs> That's a dead joke, Peter. That's a very bad, bad joke. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, funny. So I bought orange roses yesterday. I saw the most beautiful orange roses in the supermarket, and I bought them. And they started to open today and I couldn't take my eyes off them. I was so drawn to them. Even so that I thought if anybody could see me, they'd think I'm crazy, but I'll tell you group, this group because we're all crazy. Yeah, <laughs> so, we're all a little goofy in this group. So I actually went up to the roses really close and I was smelling them, but I felt like I couldn't draw myself away from the vibration they were giving off. Yes. <laughs> Eventually, I confessed that I put my face on them because <laughs> I just wanted to feel the the vibration of them. So, obviously, I've got something going on with spirit of wisdom at the moment. Hallelujah! We thank you for that spirit of wisdom on April, Father. Thank you. Yes, Father. I picked up some orange flowers today too. They were free, uh, <laughs> giving it to an international house of prayer in Atlanta. And uh, that was available. And I had, I just had to have those orange flowers. Now I'm going to have to go yeah. and find out why the Lord, why the Lord wanted me to get them. It's probably the same reason as the, yes. the vibration <laughs> of them. I posted them in the chat. Okay. Oh, aren't those beautiful?
Well, it looks like um, it looks it looks like someone is calling a toast. Of I don't know what they're saying, but um, glasses are being handed out. And would you believe um, the liquid in them looks like the rainbow? Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> I believe it. So they're serving, they're serving yeah. promises. <laughs> Go ahead. <Yeah. laughs> I sense they're saying that the kingdoms of this world, they have become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ. And he shall reign forever. They're just toasting this new time on the earth, this kingdom age on the earth. Wow. Yes. Drink up, guys. Perfect. Yes. Lahaim. <laughs> Lahaim. <laughs> So does anyone see a governmental act that we could release? Almost when you were saying what you were saying, I was seeing this picture and I was just watching it unfold as I listened to you. And uh, it's like, we're looking out, kind of like if you were at a dark night, it, dark nightish, and it was you were looking across water, and then on the way over there would be some trees. Well, I saw this orange sky with purple tone under it before the before the trees, right before you said that. So it's kind of like the Lord is opening up a new space. Is what I sensed. Okay. A dark horse candidate is one that no one expects to win, but then they win. So I think that that's what God's doing. He's his dark horse is winning and has won. We'll see good things. That's a good decree. Anybody else um, seeing anything as far as a governmental act is concerned? What about releasing orange roses? <laughs> I love that. You know, because I um, was looking up, you know, what I know 
orange is a mixture of red and yellow, but it's it's a transition. And I think we're in a transition and people need to, to uh, I think people are feeling transition, but don't understand it. Yeah, which, which, which could be very unsettling if you don't know what it is. And it's very unsettling even when you're, you are in transition. For me, yes. like, like childbirth. Or going through the toddler stage because you know that they're going through that transition so they go through that terrible twos and and then, then they all of a sudden can like speak a bunch of words or grasp a concept or you know there's always something that happens good afterwards but you have to get through that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they take the entire family with them don't freak out, Victoria. Don't freak out. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, that makes sense because didn't someone say earlier, didn't Barbara say earlier, or well, someone said that this is a transition period, talking about coming into maturity? Preparation for it. Preparation, and yeah. It's like a celebratory, like a what did they used to call it in the South where you come out for the debutante's ball? Yeah, debutante, yeah. Yeah. So that sort of ties in with what Karen's saying. Yes. Any Anybody else? I, I think okay. there may be a couple of things. Go ahead, Linda. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I, I had seen a picture and I'm still seeing the same picture right after I saw the like water and then the trees and then there's purple and then there's an orange sky. And then what I saw there was, seems to me, it looks like Jesus, Holy Spirit and God and they're each on a horse. And uh, it's more of like I'm seeing them through a cloud because it's not like a person would be on the horses, but it was kind of like far away. And I'm seeing that and they're looking at us like they're instructing us either to get on a horse or to move forward or they're with us or they're going to lead us there. Does anyone else uh, resonate with that? I, I feel like uh, the sense I'm getting from that, I did not see it until of course you described it. And I, the feeling I got from it was as if they, they're observing. Okay. It's really cool. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And I keep seeing, I also keep seeing, you know, that huge, um, huge, humongous uh, wine bottle of, you know, rainbow promises that we were drinking. Um, so I think pouring that out over, over the earth, over all creation is, is part of it as well. Anybody, anybody else want to add something? Going once, going twice. So we, so we, I'm just trying to get this in my head. Yes. So are we, what are we releasing? We're releasing the promises of God. We're releasing yes. the beauty of orange roses, which represents transition. Yeah, the beauty of transition, really. Yeah, the beauty see. of transition. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm cool with that. And say? wisdom. And wisdom. wisdom. And wisdom in the transition. So we know how to transition. 
Mm-hmm. And the wisdom to find God, because we're throwing it down to the earth and there's lots that don't know him yet. And there's lots who are who are bound by religion who need to transition into the next age. Yes. And wisdom for the government. Yes. All the governments of the world. Big heaps of wisdom for them. Yes, all over the world, every people. So what we can do here is... Um, We can each just, um, you know, declare the peace, you know, the peace of this governmental act, you know, one right after the other. So like, I'll, I'll, let's say I went first and then uh, Karen would talk about what, you know, would declare her part, and then Avril your part and so on and so on until, until we're finished. Does that sound good? Yep. So Father, we just, we thank you for this, um, this new place that you've taken us into, Lord. And I, I pour out the, the wine, the rainbow wine over all the earth and over all creation. The rainbow wine that represents the promises of who you are to all creation. Go ahead, Karen. So, Papa, I just so thank you for tonight. And I just, I release the orange roses. The roses always, to me, always represented love. But the orange represents your transition, your your beauty in the transitions. And I release that to all the, the whole world. They would feel your love during the transitions of their lives, transition of your time, transition of your will. I release it. Father, I release the frequency of the orange, Mm. the resonance of it, and I release I release wisdom in the transition. Yes. And I release the vibration of this place, which is peace, comfort, and rest. I release that on the earth. Peace, comfort, rest. Beautiful. I can feel those vibrations. Yeah, yes. Anybody else? Along with the rainbow wine, we release the, the rainbow God, the seven spirits of God over the seven mountains of society for God's will to be done in every area. Wisdom, God's will, God's kingdom in Jesus' name. Yes, thank you, Father. Thank you. I'm hearing this song, you know. Lord of Lords, hallelujah, hallelujah, King of Kings, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm hearing that. I'm hearing the whole chorus of it like I was listening to the CD. So it's like bringing glory to God. Forever and ever and ever, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes. I love it. And he shall reign forever and ever. And he shall rain.
I just want to declare my love and all for you, Lord. You are awesome. Mm. You are majestic and you are holy. Thank you for this beautiful place, this spectacular, bedazzling place. Thank you that you dance with us and whisper love into our ears. Thank you that you laugh with us and you joy with us. I hear the word delight. He's delighting in us. Yes. We respond to your delight, Lord. I can hear cheering. Everybody's like, whoa. Yay, clapping hands. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> and the goes on. Dun, dun, dun. Hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, cool. <laughs> Man. How great is the Lord. Would anyone like to add anything else before we close the meeting? Okay, so Father, we just thank you. We just, we are undone again, Lord. We just thank you so much for this, this time and the things that you've shown us. All the gifts that you gave us to release to the earth and all creation, Father. We thank you for the strength and transition in this realm of wholeness. And we seal this ascension with the blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Amen. Amen. Amen.